been on as serious as like BMX and or skateboarding because it's always kind of been frowned upon a little bit. With it like used to be in the X Games and then getting chucked out, it definitely lost like a lot of credibility after that. So it's just gone like really underground and because people don't really understand it, they don't take it seriously, they don't realize like kind of the level of play that goes into it. So yeah, for sure. Um, yeah, definitely for sure. Not everyone, like with every group, there's like a few bad apples in it, but there's definitely some skateboarders who do not like rollerblading. You get called a fruit booter for rollerblading, which is quite funny. It doesn't really like offend me much anymore, but uh, it's okay. Yeah, deal with some of it, but get through it. Um, people around my street used to do it a lot when I was younger, and then uh, I kind of realised after a while you could actually do tricks and stuff while doing it. You could just have to like roll about in the street, and then I met some other people that were into it, and kind of like <coughs> just grew from there, learn more tricks, got more into it. It's good fun. So why rollerblading over skateboarding or BMXing? It was the first thing I did, and I did try other things, but it was just like kept coming back to it. It felt the most comfortable, felt like the most natural to me. It was uh, definitely something that is different from. A lot of other people did, but I didn't really deter them. It was just like good fun, enjoyed doing it, felt more, felt the most natural basically. That's like kind of the best option I've got, best answer.